Tell me what's the word. Now, word up, everybody. Carrier 091 hanging out with you. Boy, oh boy. Are we going to have some large fun standing next to you today for more of Final Fantasy The Legend Part 2? It's not the real Final you, Fantasy, it's just the Legend version. You want to know what the word of the day is? What's the word of the day, Lutz? Sadness. Ah. Yeah, but thank you for asking. Anyway, hey, how are you guys doing? Lutz here. They are kind of in your general vicinity. He's not keeping right beside you like I am. Yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on the two of you, because things, you know, uh, I don't know. Lutz, you ever I just protect Kyrie. You ever just been minding your own business when suddenly Kyrie is standing beside you? Suddenly Kyrie. Kyrie. Bonus Kyrie points to whoever gets that reference, man. That's Any a, dude, that's not as esoteric of a reference. So there are some references. Okay, I have no frame of reference as to what's popular. Kill these guys. Sometimes no. something that was like <laughs> really like. Really important to me in my childhood turned out to not be the most important thing to everybody else. Meanwhile, everybody else was up to something that I had no clue about, such as rap music, movies, girlfriends, things that I had no knowledge about until much later in life. Lutz, what what is what is something that so this is a great topic of discussion and leave some comments below uh, given your answers. What is something that you feel like was a pretty significant like staple or not even necessarily a staple a pretty significant part of your childhood that you're now realizing like nobody else has heard about great question so the one interesting thing is obviously these final fantasy games were a huge staple in our childhood not this specific not one the, but one's kind of like this one no but the interesting bit is i was aware at the time that these were esoteric and the irony is, is that they became very popular, and then, and not like this, excuse me, not like this game, but like the franchise. Right, right. And then I lost interest as it gained popularity. Once they became popular, once the secret was out, back when it was just like you and a couple of like individuals who knew how cool they were, it was way more fun. And then like, suddenly they become this thing that everybody is familiar with, and even the like, dumb people are playing them. Oh, okay. So, don't get, don't get it twisted. It's not that I lost interest because other people discovered these things. It's the thing that happens all the time with products. As the product becomes more popular, they have to target a more broad audience with it. Also known as a broadience. A broadience, and things become general. They're kind of palatable to everybody, and but they're not delicious to anybody. It's just kind of safe. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it doesn't appeal the same way. I mean... That's the uh, the downside of pursuing the broadience. Yeah. I feel like so, I've been I, I everywhere mean, inside here, haven't I? Yeah, you, you have been doing some laps. Like, I'm sure the audience is really intrigued by our rambling, but they probably also want to see the game? I'd like to think this show appears, appeals to a broadience. You know... I mean, it could. What I will I say, doing. yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend my channel to anyone. Um, what, what I will say about my thing from my childhood that seems to have just completely... I feel like yeah. only people of my age group or thereabouts are, remember Captain Planet. You know, Captain Planet... That was popular. Okay, we can't go in there. Cap no, Captain Planet wasn't exactly... Did I leave? Oh, I wasn't done! Alright. Captain Planet was... Was, uh... Popular... At the time. But I'm, it wasn't enduring. It's not something people talked about, like... After. You know, like, um... I don't know of a good example. Like, Ninja Turtles. You know, Ninja Turtles were huge... Around the same time Captain Planet was huge. But they remained popular even when the show wasn't around anymore. That didn't happen with Captain Planet. Captain Planet was popular when it was on, and then after it went off, nobody went back to, like, revisit it. Is that true? That sounds right. 
We oh. don't really need Captain Planet with anybody. Even some of our like mean partners. That doesn't. That's not really. See, that's what I'm saying. Is that Captain Planet was pretty bit like there were other shows that didn't really come back, like Widget the World Watcher, which I also liked, but. Um, no, but that one at the time, I also knew nobody knew about this show, and I kind of felt this show's not going to last because it's, it's no, it's it's pretty, but it's not going to make it. But Captain Planet felt pretty ubiquitous; like it felt like it, we were all doing that. Yeah, every, every kid in when I was in like third grade, every kid watched Captain Planet. It's just what you did after school. You watched Captain Planet. I mean, we were all doing it. Couldn't get enough of it. But what's interesting now, now that you mentioned that, maybe some of the problem is, I don't think that they did a great job with characters. So here's something that I've noticed about storytelling. Is a uh, okay. I've had a lot of thoughts about this, so I don't want to ramble. But I think people will focus sometimes on technical things rather than relationships and feelings and the things that we really relate to more deeply. And so just seeing the five different. So in Captain Planet. There's like a leader, Captain Planet, and he's like a superhero. And then he has like five like teenagers that are kind of his uh, team that the go around. And do the Planeteers. The Planeteers. And each one of these five people has their own special power that's given to them through a ring that they wear that Captain Planet gives them. So there's Earth, Fire, Wind, Water, Heart. Go Planet. The worst one was uh, Heart, by the way. Like, what do you even do with that? But that's the funny thing is, he's the only character I remember. And so what I meant by the mechanical thing was I thought that when they came up with the story concept, they focused a lot on five characters and they have some kind of elemental quality. Now, these are all very mechanical things, but it's like, why do I give a crap about these characters? Like, why do I follow them anyway? And because of that, the characters are very flat in Captain Planet, not making them enduring. Now, who did I remember? Heart. Now, why do I remember Heart? Why do I remember Hart? What's Mati? What his you, name was Mati. You didn't remember that, but okay. Now, why do I remember? But I don't remember his name because that doesn't matter. I remember how he made me feel. Now, what is it that Hart has that the other people don't? Uh, Hart. Give you a hint. It starts with an M. Uh, he Max had a monkey. He had a oh. He, he had, had a, a pet. He had a pet monkey, and that made him a person. I thought you were going to say a Mexican accent. No. South American, generally. Um, no, he had a monkey. And so I can see him having a relationship with this animal. Very consensual one. And, like, <laughs> that connected with me. So, like, I can see all oh, animals are cute. And so I remember the monkey would have antics. And then Mate would have to run around and be like, Monkey, no! I don't remember what the hell was going on. I don't remember any of the villains or any, like, who was polluting what river that week. I just remembered the monkey would be funny. And I liked that about it. But that's what they missed, is that the characters were not... What's happening? Just, uh, uh, saving state real quick because I'm lost. Are um, we recording? Yeah, this? we're recording, yeah. I wanted. I hope you guys are okay with the story, and so this is not what... No. Dude, nobody wants to hear me talk about Captain Planet. Why well, you walk around in circles? I'm People lost! I don't know where to go! Nobody you paid for this content. Listen. You watched a dumb ad to be in this video. If you... It, no, uh, first of all, my channel's not monetized, so they better not be watching ads. Second oh. of all, if... You guys paid for this video. I would like you to leave a comment and let me know how much you paid and frankly who because it wasn't me. I'll give you a dollar to shut up. Ooh. Ooh. I I heard that as like a Doppler effect of you making that sound while you ran at me at full speed. Terrifying. Ooh. Okay, so that's everything, right? We got them all now? Did we catch them all? Yeah. Brethren, how did we get out of this key? I don't know, now man. Now we know why there's so many things trapped inside of her. Because they just wandered in and they don't know how to get out. There's no way out. Wandered in? They went through the same rigmarole we did. They all popped a micron potion and they got shoved up there with the rest of the junk. Probably a Sega Genesis controller in here. Yes! Alright.
This is what we needed. Alright guys, let's go. Oh my god. The encounter rate in this game is just fundamentally flawed. What would Kyle Justin say about this, Lutz? Would he say, that's starting to piss me off, actually. <laughs> Kyle Justin, if you're watching, would you like to come and uh, undo a spot with us? He is, of course he's like watching! That. Of course he's watching. Okay, so this looks like something that might be inside of somebody. Let's see what it is. <laughs> what? Key's cell is guarding Magi. Okay, I guess we're gonna actually kill part of Key now. You don't really get Oh, Lutz, what is it? No! <laughs> no! no! You have one job! You have one- You're making a game for children, dude! You can't put- It's a rookie mistake, man! No, you know what it was? It was intentional. It was they intentional. knew! They knew what they, they knew. were doing! Absolutely. They were just having fun here! Freaking phagocyte? I don't know! It gave you say man! We're gonna get demonetized! Ooh! Ow! Ow. You dissolved. Ow! I guess I did nothing. Why are you getting all mad? Why do you hit the phagocyte group? Why are you bashing this phagocyte? Why did the phagocyte fall? Phagocyte, phagocyte. Dude, there's seven of these phagocytes? Come on, Mark. Too many. Come on, Mark. Why won't Mark do anything? Why are the phagocytes going first? Mark, please! Yes! Oh, there's still one left. And they say that phagocytes don't have representation. Ten, dude! Not even true. What is You're dead, mean? phagocyte! Well, we still alive? Bash him. Come on. First paralyzed. I saw that phagocyte. I felt paralyzed. Thank you! Thank you. God. A lot of money. Yeah, Merv, get, Merv better get some HP and Mark better get some, some stuff. I truly hope you don't pump in any more of those phagocytes while you're in here. No, we're done. You got an Obama! <laughs> Omana. Uh. Thank you. You saved me. Bonus Kyrie points to anyone who knows what you saved me is from. Seriously, it's leave it below if somebody gets you saved me. I will. Hey, I, no, I, the legend is the, the link, the YouTube poop. God dang it. Lutz, you ruined it. I was yes. going to. You yes, took yes, away the award. In. Whoever writes it in first now gets it. You're welcome. Share it with me. Whatever you give. What are you giving them, actually? We're going after Magi to the next world. Okay. Thank you. Well, you could I heal see. me, I suppose. Yes. What is he? You tell me that's not a woman. Go back. I want to get one, that, one last look at that little interior. Okay. That was weird, Key, but... I gotta say, I gotta say, I'm just gonna say it. She looks better on the outside. Mm. Don't get to say that one a lot either. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Be sure to stick around next time for more Let's Listen. Play the game. Listen to him. He's not leading you astray, you guys. He's telling you straight. All right, bye, everyone. Hey everybody, this is Kyrie 91 If you enjoyed this video, or maybe you just like the sound of my voice like I do, consider subscribing to the Kyrie channel for more big fun.